Love and welcome to Chicken and Chips, where all your favorite things are served on one plate. We've got music, news, entertainment, comedy, and much, much more. Today we're talking about relationships. Hello. Specifically, how do we communicate with our partners when there's something wrong? No, I told you not to call me anymore. Do we have the strategy for dealing oh, with conflict? Oh, really? And do these strategies work? Well, that's what you think. Let's head on down to... Machinga! Catway Corner to see how... Yes! To see how our friends there deal with stressful situations. I'd rather kiss a goat than kiss you again. But let me um, ask you this. Yeah. What are the odds? Because women, the, the thing is, when you hear about women, it's because women report. How many uh, men go through uh, violence and don't report? Okay, okay. You get it. What That's what I was what saying. What violence do men go through? Ah, women Leia come back home, it. food has been cooked. Many of our women, I don't know how, but they still take water for their husbands to wash. Then they which, do this. Where, where do you live? Where do you live? Um, and, and we're talking high class women, these so-called high class women. But not yes, there is water on school. the tap. They come back. Women even parent. They contribute half rent. I know women who pay fees. They've shared their kids. What violence? When, Here is the ah. thing. Women who go to work yeah. feel like they're the men in the house, even if the man works. She will tell the man, I work too. I am tired. The man wants to take a bath or probably he wants food on the table. She's going to call the maid. Okay, is that Jean, she tired? Maria. Okay, no, isn't she tired? You're still a wife. Maria. So what? I'm anti tired. Did I wake up and live with you at 7 a.m.? Please, what do I have that makes food? It do does not make food. It does not make you mess sick. You see? Okay. You see that? <sighs> Men, we have started suffering a certain kind of violence that I don't have a name for. Because these ladies have risen up against us and you cannot say anything. They abuse our rights and we are not allowed to defend ourselves because even in a man's being, it will feel like a weakness. If you go so we'd we'll rather be mute about it and, and suffer quietly. You'd call that emotional violence. Yeah, most of the time, emotional violence. Most of the time women will use 
uh, emotional violence. Sometimes they'll keep quiet on you for a whole month. How are you supposed to communicate? Has your husband ever annoyed you? And if yes, yes, yes. what is the worst or the best that you've ever done to show him that you're angry? Mm. I think silence <laughs> for two weeks. <sighs> and what do you call that to you? Basilica. <laughs> Basilica. You'll be silent in the basilica. <laughs> And do you think? <laughs> and you think it's wrong? Yes, yeah, we call it. Yeah, So that, that is. And the, you thought you were giving a piece of cake to your husband? Don't no, you think that could some be? things be so annoying. Uh, and you see, no, let me tell you, Shadia, this guy is annoy us, and you can't punch him. You can't throw him out of the house. You love him. You can't abuse him because you don't have the. <laughs> some of us can't abuse that guy. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I hate doing things which are going to backfire on me. Actually, when I got upset, I never spoke in the house. Jesus and um, it, it was so bad that he had to call my family. He was scared. Because he told my mom, LA I don't know. For a yes, month. this running mouth actually keeps quiet. Wow. <laughs> Come, girl. He asked my mother, I don't know what she's thinking. Because I was doing everything. I would wash his clothes cook the food, put it on the table, so clean good. the You're house, so but I never said a word. I once used sarcasm. Men hate I just... sarcasm. Whoa, it's a whip on every woman. How did you survive your hand being cut off? Should get. Sarcasm? Yes, that works. It works. Mm -hmm. it he works. comes back late and, and you're like, you. oh my God, it's just 6 p.m. Yeah. Wonderful. The king of the house is back. It will kill him. It will and what would you oh, expect him to do? Probably. Because as it's like coming into nagging. Nagging? He yeah, did it. Can he just stop at that? Yes. It's enough. Give him sarcasm, then silence. Sarcasm. <laughs> he will put himself to order. Jesus <laughs> Okay, let's Maria, Maria, now let me You will lose a marriage one day. Exactly. <laughs> Ananga, you people. We only think of violence as hitting or raping or something. Yeah. But there are things that people do that are as violent as, as hitting or, hitting or whatever. Like yeah. someone will burn your clothes. Yeah. Someone will call you names. Break someone your phone. Will, yeah, destroy your phone, destroy dip your it phone. in water. Yeah. Someone will throw a plate at you. You know, someone yeah. can say, oh, what kind of man are you if you can't even pay for my KFC? Uh -huh. What kind of man are you if you can't even last in bed? Yeah. Eh? What kind of woman are you? You can't even cook. You call yourself a woman. This yes. is violence. I, I can't agree more on that because there are so many types of violence. But uh, the root cause, I think, of solving any problem is first understanding the partner. The partner should be able to understand themselves and appreciate their partners for who they are. Did what you just hear in Katwe Connor's segment of our show ring a bell? Did the conversations the puppets were having on screen sound like the ones people would have in real life? That's because those were real life conversations. We do not script the show. We do not use voice actors. What we do is record audio from actual discussions among peers. Right, or you look at it and you're like, oh, I imagine. I think men just want more. Cut it down to short segments. <laughs> and then bring it back to life using puppets. That is why Katwe Kona is one-of-a-kind reality show. The first puppet reality show in Africa. Stay tuned for more. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's trip to Katwe Corner. Coming up next, we take a look at some more real life friendships. 
Starting with our friends DJ Rooster and MC Potato. Are you gonna answer that? Okay, okay. Jeez. And now Yeah. This. What? to meet, we kiss whenever we want. I, I even lost counts. None. <laughs> right. I don't have a partner. I, I can't count. Because we always kiss just like three times a day. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. With that, I might say, I mean, I might say that it's countless. <laughs> mm, twice a day. Yeah, morning, when I'm going to work, evening, yeah, when we are going to sleep, that's it. Whenever he feels like, yeah, there's no specific time. Uh, like massage, massage can help very well, massage the legs, the head, yeah. Well, you take him out, uh, you give him time to think, probably. It's all about time. If I told when you give her time, maybe you, you can take the stress away. Could be jokes, maybe play around, tell a story, maybe. Uh, sometimes, no matter, you know, sex relieves stress. That's the best. My partner loves Jimmy, so I just help him and I take him to the gym. For that, it just needs counseling so that he cools or comes down. Tell him to go somewhere so that he can be in mood. If I had one, um, I think I would like make a special meal for him. I always pull around with her, I give her time. If he's really stressed, uh, whether it's because of me, you give him time to think. You let him be alone. There are times when you really don't have to joke. When he's too pissed, you just don't put a word. Give him space. If it is to watch TV, you both watch TV. You don't make noise until he feels like, no, he's out of place and he will talk. I tell him, we go out, have, have some fun, maybe going to the beach, go swimming, yeah. You just have to talk to him, give him advice about that I stressed him so that he comes down. Like, I wait for him to settle down, to calm down, then we talk about it, we get the solution. the one to decide. You just have to talk with him so that you make a decision. It's a discussion. If he says something I don't want or if he brings up something I wouldn't want to do, I'll slowly refuse it but in a wise way. And then we don't have to urge so much. Uh, you know, I always talk and she listens to me. But it's not all about arguing. We sit down, we talk, because a relationship is not based on only one person. We talk. Yeah. Mostly, we decide together. In buying the land, you can decide on that. I'm like, yeah, let's go. You can pick the land. We agree. We must agree. Yes. But if the decision is like, I don't want it, are we argue. No kings are our men alone. The power of Kona, Jikona, and alone. It's been a long time, a long time. You see, Kulabako. Since I'm Kulabako, they walk up with the Jajama. Let us say, you walk up, touch you, Sanama, or you went to Jama. I told us that you are for the game of Gamba, to Alan 
you say you love me so You come and take your stress away You take my stress away Oh, no, I'm cooling down I'm not going to charge you 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 Right, right. Well, you sound like your mother. No. You know that? All right. Wow, that is a hard question. But um, it was choosing between two guys. Yeah, I loved one, then the other. Breaking up with my boyfriend. Yes, I found him cheating, so I had to break up with him. It was hard for me, but I had to do that decision. Keeping my virginity till married. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I used to say that since I was young, before even I started, started a relationship. So I always had it in my mind that, no, I want to have sex till marriage. Because I remember when I was still in adolescence, uh, I used to just like to be with this one and this one. Uh -huh. you, you know, just like it was, uh, it was the hardest time on my side when she told me that you should decide either her or me. You know, there are points when you get so angry, you'd be like, should I let him go? Should I stay? And then you sit and fight within you. That I think is the hardest. Fighting yourself is the hardest decision. I don't have. 
That one was the time when I had to quit my career of doing mass communication. That was year 2012. And now I decided to manage this business of the salon since my sister had passed away. Mm. Uh, staying together, yeah, that was a hard one because I was still with my parents. I decided because I loved him and yeah, I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. So I, I said, okay, let us go, but it was a hard one. Like they're using protection. Some partners, they don't want to use protection when they are young. Yeah, that can affect them, but... If you're still in school, then why would you have sex? You have to focus on books then. Afterwards, yeah, you can go for it. I think they could just have to be ready for it and to wait for the right time. For me, like, that's youth, eh? They are not supposed to engage in that issue. Let's say to the girl's side, most do it to please the guys and they end up regretting. They get so tired of the relationship because maybe she is having sex with a person she really doesn't love but she has to do it because maybe she needs something from that person. People have to abstain or either to use a condom. Greetings to my dad, my mom, my other mom, uh, my friends. Uh, I first turn Greeting to my boyfriend, my mom. I send a message to my special one. By the her name is Natasha. Okay. It was just like I feel her, I love her. So I send greetings to her because I love her so much. My mom, my lovely mom, my brothers, my sisters, and everyone that I love, even my workers. I love them so much. Uh, I love you so much. Uh, thank you for the years you have spent with me. Thank you for being a good partner. Thank you for everything you have done to my life. Do you want me to say the name? No, I'm not going to say the name. But I'll say, keep it up. That's the way to go. My mom, I love her so much. And my sweet auntie. And my sisters. Wow. I love you, mom. All right, all right. I understand. Yeah. I, me too. Oh, okay. Well, that sounded a little better. Did you guys make up? Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose. She's on her way here now. Mm, well, then it's all sorted. That's all we had time for this week. This is Kiki Love thanking you for joining us. Ah! For... Oh, baby, I got here as soon as I could. Uh, hi, Felicia. She is your girlfriend? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but she... <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Chicken and Chips. We hope next week you'll be hungry for more. Oh, Chicken and Chips, that sounds good. All right, but you're buying. <sighs> Yo, love, the greatest feeling in the world. Let's talk about it. Talking about love. Love for the truth, no love for the cheater 